Do you want to get better at PvP in Sea of Thieves? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is HippoTC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. If you find this video helpful or you enjoy this content, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below to help me defeat the YouTube algorithm. And the last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are so freaking close to 100K subscribers and I could really use your help to get there. Now, with that being said, this video is the ultimate guide to PVP. In this video, I'm gonna cover all the top tips and tricks that you need to know for PVP and Sea of Thieves. I cover new strategies, old strategies, and absolutely everything in between. So pull up your ship, grab a grog, and let's get started. As a day one player in Sea of Thieves, there are quite a few things that I have learned that have helped me pull off some insane steals in my time on the seas, and I hope to share some of that pirate wisdom with you. Before we get into the nitty gritty details though, I want to talk with you about what I believe is the most important thing you need in any fight on the seas, your wits and situational awareness. I am not the most lethal pirate on the seas, but I have been able to manage some insane steals that other pirates only dream of. The main reason I've been able to pull these off is because I do my best to keep my wits in the middle of a fight and I always try to stay a few steps ahead of my enemy. I try my best to keep track of the most important information. Things like how many pirates have been sent to the ferry and how long till they respawn. Is there anything I can use to gain an advantage? For example, are there kegs in the crow's nest? How much ammo do I need? How many blunder bombs do I have? What kind of food do I have? Is backup on the way? Etc. Etc. Keeping these things in your mind while engaging an enemy will help you stay a few steps steps ahead. Most of the time, pirates are only thinking of the now and they are not thinking of their next steps. So keeping your wits and having situational awareness will help you fight them on your terms, not theirs. There's an incredible quote that comes from the book of Art of War and it says this, do not engage an enemy more powerful than you. And if it's unavoidable and you do have to engage, make sure you engage them on your terms, not on your enemy's terms. With that being said, here are my best tips and tricks to help you be a more lethal pirate on the seas. You can refill your ammo for any weapon at an armory. All you need to do is select a different skin. So if you ever find yourself in an outpost trying to defend yourself and you run out of ammo, use this tip. Organize your barrels. Each crew does this a bit differently and I recommend you find something that works for you and your crew. I like to kind of put my cannonballs, chain shots, fire bombs, and blunder bombs in the top barrel, cursed cannonballs in the bottom, good food in the top barrel and crappy food in the bottom barrel, AKA bananas. Speaking of food, you wanna know what is good. Not all food is created equal. Know what food to look for. I've created these graphs for easy reference and you can find them in the description below. Use fire bombs to distract and annoy the enemy. At the end of the day, fire bombs don't deal a massive amount of damage, but they can cause some major distraction and annoyance for the enemy. A well-placed fire bomb can just add enough chaos to give you the edge. Speaking of fire, keep a small layer of water on the bottom of your ship. This will help prevent fire from catching below deck, giving you a safe place during a fight to catch your breath. Practice boarding other ships by lunging off the front of your ship while you're sailing around and trying to catch the ladder. This gets you familiar with how to board other ships and it's fun to do when you are bored. Speaking of boarding, listen for mermaids. This is a new enemy that's been added to the game and the sound will alert you to guard your ladder. Know your weapons. Each weapon is unique and offers unique damage. You can also find this graph for easy reference in the description below. Practice shooting on the bell of your ship. This was a tip I shared in my last video and to this day, I still warm up by shooting the bell. This is especially helpful if you are running a double gun combo gets you just warmed up ready for the next fight if you are on a sloop always attack with the port side of your ship facing your enemy the sloop is unique in that there's a section of the ship that can't actually take damage due to the brig that is unusable on the sloop meaning you have a spot on your port side of the ship that is essentially invincible find yourself a portable ammo crate seriously these crates are extremely underrated and incredibly helpful if you stumble upon one of these on an island 
be sure to place it on the deck of your ship. This will give you quick access to reload your weapons and could make the difference between life and death. Always lunge by blocking first. This gives you added movement speed when lunging, and if you time it right, you can even do a jumping sword lunge. It gives you a lot better reach as well. If you just do a normal lunge, your reach isn't as far. And then if you block and then jump lunge, your reach on that lunge to attack your enemy is significantly further. Speaking of lunges, if you are on a ship, you can actually cancel a lunge by grabbing the helm, cannon, or anchor, or the harpoon. This can help save you in a pinch, especially if you know you're going to miss your enemy and you don't want to get caught with your pants down. Figuratively speaking, of course. Did you know that there's a way to lunge back to back? Well, there is, and it can save your life. Even though there's a nerf, if you miss your lunge cooldown, if you manage to hit your target, you can still do the double lunge technique. You can do this by quickly blocking after you hit your target when you lunge, jumping backwards, and then you can lunge again. Another great use for the lunge is you can actually knock a border off your ship. If you know a border is climbing up the ladder, you can time your lunge to swiftly knock the scurvy dog off of your ship. The knockback from a lunge also throws your enemy further away from the ship than just a blunderbuss or a blunderbomb. Another great weapon to watch the ladders on your ship is the blunderbuss. Seriously, it is now the only firearm that has knockback, so if you happen to have a pirate sneaking up on your ship, make sure to give them a proper hello. Another thing to help you kind of repel borders in PvP is to keep a spare trident just in case you know a border is on the way. Though these weapons are not necessarily amazing for PvP in general, they are quite amazing at keeping pesky pirates off your ladder. So make sure to keep one of them around just in case. Love the cutlass? Well, learn how to quickly move using the block jump in any direction. If you combine this with a regular jump right after you quick jump, well, you, my pirate friend, are bunny hopping. And this is a very useful technique to help you dodge bullets and get close enough to do some damage. You can grab the ladder from inside the sloop, which if you are trapped down in the deck below because pirates have taken over your helm, you can use this trick to sneak attack and surprise them. In Sea of Thieves, enemy pirates have a collision for your character, meaning you can't move through an enemy pirate, but there is a way around this. If you use the block dodge on your sword, you can quickly jump through your enemies. This helps in sword combat, allowing you to jump through their block and hitting them with your sword. It can also help with boarding. If you have someone watching the ladder, you can block jump right through them and drop the anchor. Always aim down your sights or block when approaching a ladder. This will make it so you can silently board the ship, giving you the opportunity to get on the enemy ship. Oftentimes, you'll see me block with my sword before I get on a ladder. This just makes it a silent board and it is very useful. The last tip I have for here for PVP is to always check for tuckers constantly. Every time you leave your ship and you get back, do a quick check for tuckers. I have a full guide on how to tuck, which covers all the best hiding spots a filthy tucker might try to use. So check that out if you're curious where to kind of look on any given ship, the sloop, the brig, or the galleon. Last but not least, this game is forever changing and old strategy sometimes will not work. For you to remain successful at PVP in this game, you can't be afraid of it, nor should you be. PVP is one of the best parts about Sea of Thieves. For more tips and strategies or just some questions, feel free to join my Discord. If you're not sure what Discord is, it's a free online tool designed to bring gamers together. I promise if you're sailing alone or doing open crew, well, Lord forbid, do yourself a favor and join up on my community by clicking the link in the description. Don't sail alone if you don't have to. We even have monthly events where we post signups and help match crews together. You can also jump over on my Twitch stream and say hi. I stream Sea of Thieves every single week and love to answer questions. So if you're new to the game and you have questions around this amazing game, whatever the case might be, feel free, jump on over. I'd love to help new pirates out. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've gotten this far, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe so you never miss a new video. Like I said earlier, we are so freaking close to 100k subs on here, and I could really use your help to get there. Thanks for watching. See you guys out in the seas.